finish a DEXA scan. And these are awesome. I got a friend one a couple years ago for a birthday with Peter right here. By the way, this is Peter. Peter, hey, say hello hey, to everybody. Um, Peter, can let's talk about what, because people might now be watching, well, what is a DEXA scan? Can you explain what just happened so, to me and so what I'm learning? We take your picture, and this picture, red and yellow and blue, contains data about how many pounds of fat and bone and muscle you've got. So we saw that you're 22% fat, which is healthy. We know that you want to get a little leaner than that. Um, and it's painless. It's seven minutes. It goes back and forth where you lay in the bed. No prep required other than removing metal from your clothing. And then we talk about the numbers right away. The scan sends the x-rays through the body, looking at the actual sub makeup of your tissue. So we're breaking out the bone mass for bone density, the fat mass distribution, and the muscle symmetry. We talk about bone density, how strong the bone is under pressure. Okay. Yeah. And then you also have all the charts, uh, you know, to, so you, you see you've got charts there so we can compare it to other people with in your age range to see where you are at. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the other one I found was interesting was the lean mass, right? Because that's the thing is like, um, people are always saying, you know, what should the lean mass be? Like how much should I, how much muscle should I have for my age group? But I didn't know there was actually kind of a- A, a study of it. So we'll talk about how much muscle is appropriate for your sport. If you're playing rugby, you want to have more muscle mass than if you're doing ultra marathons. If you're playing soccer, you want to have less muscle mass than a pro quarterback. So we'll talk about your context, even when it comes down to symmetry. Cyclists want to have perfect symmetry in their legs, hockey players are going to have a lot more muscle mass in their dominant legs. The whole test takes about what, six and a half minutes? Six and a half so. minutes, we'll spend about 20 minutes, half an hour going over all the numbers with you. Dex is nice too, that since we're measuring your lean mass, we estimate your resting metabolic rate based off that. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk a bit about nutrition, give you some understanding of how many calories your body burns and what an appropriate range for fat loss is as well. Gotcha. So that's what I really like too, is that they give you the full, like, nice little consultation there after. They go, it's not like they just hand you your papers and you go on your way. It's very much just like the DNA company. Uh, you know, you get it and they sit down with you and they explain to you and they explain to you about the problem, where you're going good, where you're going bad, and just give you some advice on what they think could help tweak. Do our our best job is when someone comes back with muscle growth and fat loss and they feel like a million bucks. Yeah, they they do the hard work, we get to take a picture. One of the things that I really like is that this gives you a really detailed body composition analysis. Would that be correct? That's correct. Yeah. So can you just explain just really quickly what exactly we're doing on this scan right now? Just kind of quickly how it works. Yeah. So the scan is taking a picture of the body, but the picture contains data, which is the pounds of fat, the pounds of lean mass, and the pounds of bone mineral. So we get to see Roar's body. We get to see how much muscles in each arm and leg. We see the fat distribution. We'll talk about his bone density. And then when he comes back for his follow-up scan, we'll see the change in all those regions. Yeah, so it's a lot of fun. So we'll talk about all that afterwards. And then if, just quickly, so what does it do? It just scans me? Seven minute picture. Idea? You all breathe right. normally all the way through. So it heads about where you are. Okay. You platform it just an inch. And then it's passing the beam through your body. Now it is x-ray based, but the exposure is very low. Come up about two inches for me. Two inches so, up. Yeah, so if you think about a CAT scan, that would be one to 2,000 times as much radiation as this. Okay. So an enormously different range. Uh, you'll get about the same amount of radiation as this scan through a normal day is what we call background radiation. So this is what you get. When you're used I'm pulling you a scale and you look like a wiggler. <laughs> I, I am all, a wiggler. All of our clients, we take the toes, we take the fingertips down. More as a reminder not to hold yeah. to a wiggle. And then I'm an ADHD boy. So. I understand. And then the scan, it can only see a small slice of the body at once. So it's going to do seven long skinny pictures. It stitches them all together. And then Eileen's going to use the data here to break you into the arms and legs and torso and whatnot. Awesome. So. I just lie here doing nothing and it's going to take its... Own it's a time. real slow roller coaster. All right. We're making a, a two-dimensional picture of your body by passing this dual energy x-ray beam through you and looking at how much passes through. Okay. So when we're doing a diagnostic measurement, we get a better understanding of your bone density looking at your spine and your hips rather than all the bones in the body. Okay. So there I am. Now, why do I look so short and stocky so in that? We're using rectangular pixels so we can fit more of you on the screen, but it makes you look compressed vertically. Oh, okay. We're also looking at you as though we're above your body. So that's your right side on the left. Okay. And that's your left side on the right. Okay. So right from the top, you see you're filling up there on the upper left. Mm -hmm. We see a relatively straight spine with a mild curvature. That's where some of your half inch of height loss might be. Mm -hmm. And then we can manipulate the image to make it easier to see the fats. People would look at you and go, there's no fat on this guy, but no that fat. light gray tissue there, that's, that's my fat problem the area, Peter. It won't go away. And it's tricky in the thighs, we see the fats, a little bit of fat in the abdomen, that's the visceral fat here and here, but okay. very small amounts of it. So, cool, well thanks again, thanks, Peter. Good meeting you. Thank you. Okay, have a good day. Thank you.